in this lesson we will learn how to write the formula with the polyatomic ions and also how we will name the compounds with the polyatomic ion. What are polyatomic ions? Let's see that one. Do you know why naming and learning chemistry language is important? Let me show you a simple application. Next time when you buy packed snacks, read the labels and find out how many A-T-E-S, yates you eat every day. Maybe you are thinking, why should I know the ingredients? I just have to eat, right? But think about if you have food allergy or something that is not agreeing with the stomach, right? Agreeing or agreeing with the chemistry of your own health or some ingredients that makes you feel like sick and you should be knowledgeable which one you have to avoid. So in this garden herb ranch, dress uh, in this is a dressing you use most of the days right you can see several chemicals and some of them are named with eight and a so let's see the other side of that you can read that one ate ending here some of the ingredients here okay look at that one and how many eights are there so coming back to my question what are polyatomic ion and how can you name compounds containing polyatomic ion? Polyatomic ion contains more than one atom. Okay, so in the first case, you can see carbon has uh, carbon and oxygen here. Here you can see. Carbon and oxygen, three oxygen. So this is poly. Poly means many. Poly equal many. That is what it means. Okay. So poly atom. So many atoms. So that is what polyatomic means. In all polyatomic ions, you can see more than one element. See that? That is polyatomic ions. Why they are ions? They have charge. You can see all all ion has charge. And now when you analyze this one, you can see all negative, negative charges, all negative charges except one here, which is called ammonium. That has positive charge, okay? So polyatomic ion contain more than one atom. Okay, another thing I want to point out is you can find a difference in the name of the polyatomic ion. You can see ATE, ATE, ITE. Most of them are, as I said, eights. In this IDE, ITE, ATE, ITE, ATE, 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 ITE. Most of them are eights. You can see that. Only one difference here is ammonium. And another difference is here IDE. Normally IDE we use for elements from the periodic table. For example, nitrogen, we call it as nitride. Correct? And But here when there is oxygen, NO3 negative, we call it as nitrate. Correct? And nitride, if it is NO2. So that is the difference, ITE, ATE, IDE. So, but in the polyatomic, one IDE we can find, which is hydroxide. And other than that, all IDEs are from periodic table. Whenever you see ATE and ITE, you can confirm that that's a polyatomic ion. When less oxygen means, we will end that name with ITE. When more oxygen, we will put that one A-T-E, okay? 
that's the difference. You don't have to get confused with this one. You can actually find these things in the reference material. But as I said, it's always a good idea to learn a new language. So it's better to learn the chemistry language and uh, so that it will be easy for you, especially if you are moving on to the medical field or any science field, you have to learn chemistry. So it's a good idea to try to memorize and practice every day. And now one more point, one more thing I want to point out is that, see the acetate ion here, it can appear in two forms. So don't get confused by looking at that one. C2H3O2 negative or it can appear as CH3COO negative. So you shouldn't get confused with that one. That's the only thing about the polyatomic ions I want to talk about now. And now we will practice the naming and writing, okay? Here is an example of naming and writing a compound with a polyatomic ion. So this compound is formed by the combination of more than two elements here, sulfur and oxygen. So, and we call it as polyatomic ion. And so we also call this one as ternary because more than two elements. Okay, if it is two elements, remember we called that one as binary. And now it is binary means two elements. So now ternary means more than two elements. Okay, so when you write that one, you must use parenthesis if you have more than one polyatomic ion. So be sure to crisscross the oxidation numbers and write it outside of the parenthesis. So here, this is a metal, aluminum, it's a metal, and this is non-metal. So as such, the compound is ionic compound. So we will follow the rules for naming ionic compounds. Only difference is we are using a polyatomic ion here. So what we will do, we will always take it together. SO3 is always together. Okay. So here it is. So when you crisscross it, two aluminum and three sulfate. That three should be outside the parenthesis. So as we were practicing before, make sure the charges are cancelled out. That's why we are getting there are three sulfate ions for aluminum so that will be what six negative and six positive that will make it neutral that's a way and this is we can name it as aluminum the name same name aluminum for the first element and the second element second polyatomic ion you can get the name from the reference material you are just join uh, we are just putting it together so that is nothing but self i t e okay that's it more examples here is another example so magnesium and sulfate so the ions are mg2 plus and so for two negative two positive and two negative will cancel it you don't even have to crisscross it right so you will get the answer what mg so4 and the name will be magnesium sulfate you can see the name from the reference material you just have to put them together that's it and now copper and carbonate the charge on copper we know that's a multiple ion it's a transition metal so cu2 positive cu plus one either of them and co3 two negative we will try both copper so cu2 positive and co3 two negative two negative and two positive cancel and then just write them together and the answer will i mean the name will be excuse me, copper two carbonate that indicates the ion with copper with two positive charge we used and this indicates we use the copper ion with the one positive charge so there are more examples here calcium and sulfate so ca2 positive and so4 two negative that will cancel because the opposite charge so you will write caso4 and the name of the first element is just calcium and the name of this one from the reference material you can find it is sulfate and CA and SO3, look at that difference. This one is 
Again, two positive and two negative, it will cancel each other, uh, SeSO3, one oxygen less, and the name end in ITE. This is what we just discussed, ATE, ITE, and another example, calcium and sulfur, Ca2 positive, two negative will cancel. So the formula will be CAS, and it will be calcium sulfide IDE. See the difference? We have to be careful. This is from the periodic table. These are from the reference material. Okay. All right. Let's move on. 